Look, here's the deal. We want to be able to open restaurants. People are anxious for that. And we want to do some common sense things so that if someone does have an infection in a restaurant, we will be able to save other patrons' lives. We've got to be able to do both. And this is something that we have to make sure that we build protocols around our privacy so that any of this information can only be used for this purpose, can be expunged after 14 days, so that this is only a minor inconvenience. No one's looking to make this a federal crime. We're trying to save some lives here. And I think that we're going to find ways to work together to do both. Have a good uh, linguine uh, and uh, make sure nobody dies. That ought to be a good night's dinner. As far as compliance with the order, actually there has been amazingly high compliance with this order. The vast, vast, vast majority of Washingtonians are complying with this order. And they are doing so because they understand the science of this, of how deadly this disease is, and they want to be responsible Washingtonians. So there's two reasons this has been, by and large, successful. Number one, Washingtonians want to be responsible to their family's health and to their neighbor's health. And that's what this is all about. And the vast majority of business people that I know, they want to be responsible citizens. They want to take care of their neighbor's lives. They don't want to be seen as violating something we're all depending on. And yes, there's a couple of folks that haven't got the memo yet, but that's an aberration. That's not the Washington spirit, and that's not the Washington way, and that's not what Washington's doing right now. So we understand how the press works and what ends up on the news, but the news I see is Washingtonians are doing what they should, which is protecting themselves and their families and their neighborhoods. Now there's a second reason as well for people who, uh, who, who finally won't comply, they're going to have to comply eventually. And if they don't, there are sanctions they will, they will face, either in civil court or in criminal court. I spoke to the Attorney General about this today. We'll have more to say about this uh, in the days to come.